What's up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Got my homie, Mr. Mo Sarge. What's up, guys? Hey, make sure to subscribe to his channel. I'm gonna leave a link down below. He also has a vlog channel where he uploads probably a little bit more than I do, uh, but I'm starting to change that. I'm not as busy anymore but anyways we are gonna go on a little actually not a little a big adventure today you are invited tell them where we're going today we're going to momar island <laughs> hey, is that what we're calling it yeah that's what we're calling it anyways we got stranded on this island this is back in the day during the time where 24 hour overnight child i say back in the day but it was only a couple years back uh what, what was that 2016 2016 yeah okay so there was this trend a hot trend going and i'm, I'm glad we started doing it because uh, that's what uh started our channels like you know doing well especially him he like blew up overnight uh and it was cool we did an overnight challenge at an island in the middle of like winter here uh it was not that we get much of a winter here in florida but it was cold it was pretty i mean if a canadian said it cold it was cold oh it was freezing it, it was, was like, cold it was like four degrees celsius that's cold <laughs> well we ended up kayaking out in the middle of the gulf of mexico to get to this island the waters were like they are now not too choppy as soon as we get out to the open waters tell them what happened uh i kind of had to like paddle for the both of us because he kind of got tired no that wasn't this, <laughs> the, so the water got really really choppy oh that was choppy <laughs> and we started getting pushed out to the gulf of mexico mind you we're we're in this small little tandem kayak if we get pushed out to the middle of the gulf of mexico game over who knows where we're gonna end up what we're gonna be shark bait oh extreme shark bait we get to this island we decided that we're gonna do this overnight challenge it was gonna be fun i go to check up on my kayak kayak is gone after the tide comes up because it was low tide so i start freaking out i get back to mo and i mean stuff is getting real we're like really not feeling this whole overnight challenge thing we we didn't think it through nope. <laughs> it was getting really cold and yeah, we're we stranded didn't, on we the island or water with us we didn't have nothing no supplies no food no water the whole goal was to survive the night on an island and it went terribly wrong <laughs> it did i mean we did survive yeah. don't get me wrong and it was cold now we didn't have much on this island but one thing we did have surprising was a cell phone signal so we were able to go get help call the coast guard the coast guard couldn't make it to us because it was so shallow they couldn't bring one of the big coast guard ships to us so they ended up getting florida fish and wildlife because they were the only connection i guess to a boat that could make it out to our island because there it was shallow waters now i mean we could have probably swam but the water was cold we would have probably died of hypothermia we were cold i have a whole video on it mo does too i'm gonna leave links down below to both those videos be sure to watch it You'll have to see. I mean, I shared some of the footage here, but there's nothing like how it was. So we are gonna return to that island almost five years later. Yep. And we're gonna see what's there. So you're welcome to come along. It's gonna be a fun adventure. Every time I bring up the island to Mo, he's always saying, hey man, we gotta go back, we gotta this go the back. the reason like, why I want to come back to Florida too, first, so I can do this island. Like I, I've been dying to go back there and just see it in the daytime because we were originally trying to get there in the daytime but the tides kind of stopped us right and but by the time we got there it was nighttime so we didn't get to really enjoy it and see what was around us so we're gonna hopefully enjoy it today and hopefully nothing goes wrong look at the little duckies mommy's trying to let them go she's like you on your own now guys oh mama's freaking out <laughs> but it's okay i'm not gonna hurt you look how beautiful this water looks I mean, I know this isn't the Bahamas, but I mean, we got some beautiful, clear salt water here in Florida too. As soon as I take you out there, wow, you, you gonna love it. Just wait. Now this channel is about 30, 40 feet deep. Like big shrimp boats come through here. Okay. Usually I can't go this way. Like you have to go through the channel, but we're gonna be able to go this way. Like that boat probably might not be able to go this way. This is, this is usually really shallow water. You'll hit a lot of rocks. This is where I seen a shark. And he was fast. That shark, it was a hammerhead shark. And don't think the hammerhead sharks are friendly, okay? There's some guy on the coast of St. Petersburg, he used to go swimming every day, decided to go for a swim one day, got eaten by a hammerhead shark. They're mean. The babies are harmless, but. You wouldn't think so. Like hammerhead sharks, I've never heard of a hammerhead shark eating anyone. Yeah, man. What's that fancy device you got there? It's called a mouth bounce. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I told Mo to hang on. We got a little bit of a problem. Oh. We're going so fast right now. Mo's hat fell off. I, I, I don't know. I don't even see it, bro. It was like way back home. It was flew a while ago. Oh, I didn't man. want to say nothing, but uh, yo, you were going fast. Wow. Yeah, I had to actually put the camera down. The, the, some of the shots you saw, we're only going like 20 miles an hour. So you want me to try to find your hat? If we can. If not, okay. okay. I got it. All right, hold on. <laughs> it's got to be here somewhere. Mo's hat is M-I-A. I can't, not find like, it. I literally can't see it. No, it probably sunk. Yeah, it's sunk. Cause it's like a, one of those like fish net hats, so like it probably sunk. Oh well. Dang. If anybody ever finds Mo's Sarge's hat, it's a five hundred dollar reward. It might end up on the Momar Island. <laughs> I should have mentioned something, cause yeah, that's why I'm not wearing a hat. But give me a heads up. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I didn't even think of that. So yeah, when I was hauling butt, I couldn't, I couldn't use my, cause you really need two hands. I couldn't use the, the camera. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to make our way to Momar Island and see what it looks like five years later. We just seen something in the water, like. Oh, it's a balloon, let's get it. Let's that doesn't belong in the ocean. This is why I stopped letting balloons in the air. It's illegal to do it in Florida. Yeah, I didn't know that. All right, try to get it without tipping us over. Rescue. Good man, good man. You rescued a balloon, guys. So, Momar Island is straight ahead up there. Like five feet over here right now. We can legit swim right here and just walk. Yeah. Yeah. We probably could have walked off the island. It was freezing. It cold. was cold. Yeah, it was cold. <laughs> so Mo made an interesting point because I forgot all about this. The Coast Guard was gonna rescue us and they had to arrange Florida Fish and Wildlife to come get us. And it took several hours. It was like six hours or so. And we were stranded on this island for a hot minute. And I mean we basically did the overnight challenge. Yep. But, I mean, it was cold. It was cold and it was wet. Bad idea. Didn't think we were gonna wake up to not having a kayak. Not that I woke up any, we were up anyways, but. We couldn't sleep. Yeah, we could, there was no sleep on that, but. Our main concern was to build a fire because it was so <laughs> cold. And I found a dock there and I dismembered the dock. It was an old abandoned dock that had washed up from a hurricane. And we set fire to that dock to stay warm. But this is the reason why they weren't able to send a Coast Guard ship to rescue us or a boat i mean you could see that this water is really shallow leading up to the island there's lots of rocks it's very dangerous so i mean what are they going to rescue us in it maybe another kayak <laughs> actually that's not a bad idea <laughs> all right fam we made it to momar island the sandbar that's usually like a little beach area of the island is underwater right now because of you know of course the tide during low tide, there's gonna be like a little bit of a beach over there. Yeah, see, there's a little beach here. So, crazy story. We ended up coming back the very next day after we got rescued, remember that? Yeah, with a drone. And, uh, oh, there's a lot of rocks here. Look at this. Oh, I can't go over that. Uh, we end up trying to fly my drone from land over there to come over here to see if we could find the kayak that we lost. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a little, a little roundabout here. But as we're uh, flying the drone, this guy comes out with a golf club and he's like, you should, you're not supposed to be flying that. I'm like, oh. like, we were nice. I mean, it was like somebody obviously thinking that we're invading their privacy. Well, yeah, some. he had two guns on him too. Yeah, and he had guns on him. He like, was like trying to brandish them almost. He got on the drone. But... Yeah, it, it sucked. But I mean, we weren't flying over anybody's house or anything. We were just flying over the water. And he was uh, obviously trying to intimidate us. Got to be really careful. See, there's all rocks here. And during high tide or low tide, oh, maybe it's that opening. Look, there's another opening. Let's do this, bro, just in case. Let's circle around it. Well, I'm gonna do a little circle around it, but I think, I think we should walk there. So Mo got out. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe do a drop an anchor here. So we'll be okay. And you don't have to worry about these rocks here because I don't want to damage my ski or personal watercraft or wave runner, whatever they call these things. Mo is just loving this right now. He's on the phone with his dad right now, FaceTiming. Just to kind of show him, hey man, like, look where I'm at. This is where it all started. Now, a couple years back, well, more than five years ago, there was a dock that washed up ashore because of hurricane. I think we've had a couple more storms since then, so it probably just got progressively worse. 
and maybe just ended up deteriorating or something but this is the island i mean this is pretty much where we were I, i'm pretty sure this is where we we're i'm gonna walk around the other side to see what we could find when we first got here you know of course five years ago there was more of a beach i can't wait to watch back that video you know i don't know if um you've ever gone through like my video catalog and, and seen some of the videos that we have especially mo i mean we got so many cool videos and i mean you can see how things of course like uh, especially on my blog channel like if you watch like my kids growing up how big they've gotten and uh it, it's so cool um you know how much fatter i've gotten this is my corona weight right here your boy omar did go on a diet you'll start seeing that change hopefully soon oh there's some stuff washed up hard to walk underwater Let's see what we can find do a little garbage cleanup if anything there's just some plastics oh wow oh it's another balloon how about that and this oh that's like in there might have to cut that open i got a knife on my ski but yeah i mean most of this island you could walk on it but there's a lot of mangroves yeah a couple balloons surprised how many balloons make it out to the to the open water oh and look ma it's a spoiler it's a big spoiler reason why we picked this island is because it's pretty big it's funny when we were getting this idea to do this overnight challenge at an island you know maybe not far from where i lived we were scoping out like on a map all these different little islands and the reason why this one stuck out to us was of course because it was large but not only that how far it was from land so we knew it would be more of a challenge to be able to make it to this island especially on a kayak so we waited for the perfect time where it was a, a low tide and the water was calm it's actually a lot calmer than this but as soon as we got to the water i mean i i can show it it shows on the video it's nice and calm and then out of nowhere it's just really choppy starts taking us out we came from right over there there was like a launch and we paid this boat launch like it was like five bucks to launch our kayak from there but yeah that was definitely where we were at because it was facing the back of the island i think this is where i might have had the kayak though since we came from over there we brought the kayak over here i remember it being a little bit of a walk from the front of the island oh is that a hermit crab i see cool Ooh. oh it is a hermit crab look he's in there really cool oh, i gotta show this to mo and then i'll let you go okay look at him he's curious Ooh. oh he's got some little pinchers on him hey mister what are you doing you're so cute oh wow he's coming out he's coming out ah! all right i'm just gonna show mo the footage okay i'm sure he'll believe me no crabs were injured in the making of this video plus he has a pretty hard shell he's good all right so that is where the front of the island was and here's the back of the island and just to show you you know it, it is a pretty good distance it doesn't look like it but it, it's pretty far from the shoreline i don't know what the heck we were thinking I mean, it was okay coming on a kayak I mean, I, no it wasn't it was hard but i can't imagine i mean i'm so glad florida fish and wildlife came to rescue us because trying to get back in a kayak unless you know the weather would have been nice couldn't really predict that stuff i mean especially in the winter time i do miss my kayak though and uh between you and me mo still owes me a kayak he even told me he was like hey man i feel really bad because his video got like millions of views and my my video didn't get as many views as mo he was feeling so generous of course because you know he got all this popularity and you know mo you still owe me a kayak five years later and with some interest so now you owe me two kayaks it's funny i'll bring up the whole promising me a kayak thing and he'll be like oh man i put in the order and them damn ups drivers you know <laughs> but no nah, I, mean, I got plenty of kayaks i'm just messing around i think i have like five kayaks but that one it was it was my first kayak i paid like i think four or five hundred dollars for it. it was pretty expensive it was pretty cool and it was a tandem kayak but honestly the memory's more than worth it 
and maybe somebody's enjoying it out there maybe the kayak went in somebody's yard and they're able to use it with their kids so you know just as long as it didn't get pushed out to the gulf of mexico but even even then i mean it could have ended up in texas or some or maybe in mexico okay i'm only on gosh maybe 50 percent of the other side of the island i still gotta walk all the way around this side oh it was a big old fish over there just jumped just wanted to give you a visual on how these mangroves grow you see they're growing just right out of the sand like that they're like trees that grow into water pretty cool but yeah, this area right here, it's usually like a little bit of a beach. Rescue me! I need help! I, I don't even see the airplane, by the way. Okay, there he goes, over there. I'm not sure if you could see him. I feel like I'm in that movie Castaway or something. If you have never seen the movie Castaway starring Tom Hanks, you have to see it. It's amazing. I had my son Max watch it the other night. Stayed up all night watching it. Amazing. I'm hearing like a an animal or something on this island making some squeaky noises you know from far away it looks like this is an orange tree yeah it's not an orange tree oh stingray whoa that went right by me look oh man i should we'll probably remember to shuffle my feet oh he's right over there look i heard that squeaky noise again mo mo all right, Mo can't hear me. Oh, I heard it again. What is that? What the hell is that? Hope it's not like an injured bird or something. Man, just like that, you can get stung by a stingray. It just blends right with the ground. I'm gonna have to be extra careful walking. When I was a little kid, my dad went on a fishing trip and he got stung by a stingray and I've never seen a man in so much pain before. You know, Steve Irwin lost his life with getting stung I think he got a stung in the heart or something get a little worried because I seen another stingray but I've been doing something different something that they tell you to do should you see stingrays or unless you want to avoid stingrays altogether shuffle your feet now I think that makes more noise and also so, oh look there he goes right there is another one you know they're not very big stingrays but they can still mess with you if it was Mo, he'd be under there trying to chase it. But yeah, I'm dragging my feet, just shuffling them. I guess it scares the stingrays because you're kicking up sand. They're pretty quick, too. I just don't want to step on one. Thank God this water's pretty clear. But yeah, see, I'm making all kinds of a little dirt mess right here. Or sandy mess. Just kicking up dirt, dragging my feet. Dragging, dragging, dragging. Good to walk slow, too. Just... Be aware of your surroundings. If you're sharing these beautiful waters with very beautiful creatures that may want to bite you too. See what stingrays like to do, especially the big ones, they hide underneath the sand. That way they can avoid predators, you know, sharks like to eat them and stuff. Really easy to not see one, even if you're paying attention and step on it. That's why it's good to drag your feet. All right, here Mo finally made it to the other side of the island. I'm making things up in my head now. I thought it was like a huge stingray chasing me right now. Mo! Hey, have you seen the stingrays? Bro, I saw like four of them already. Yeah, make sure you drag your feet. I did forget to mention this too. When we got to the island, there was only maybe a quarter of it that was accessible. Uh, and this is all coming back to me because of course I made a big circle around the island. Of course, we had like these little beaches and sandbars around it, but it was just this little area. So all that research that we did online, looking at satellite maps and stuff. Yeah, you really can't go by that. Sometimes you just have to get out and explore. You can't judge everything by like satellites and stuff, because when you get to, you know, whatever it is you're looking for while you were exploring, online it could be completely different but wouldn't have it any other way even though we were only able to access a little bit of the island it was still a fun experience and i'm really happy for mo too hey are you going poop oh you're trying to fly a drone yeah i bought a new controller but it won't pair with the drone i know
bit of a evil idea. <laughs> so Mo is kind of occupied over here. And I'm getting a little bored. Where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? Alright, I don't even see him. He's probably on the other side of the island. And I wanted to take a ride anyways on the jet ski. I wonder if he's gonna think that I left him on the island we were deserted on five years ago. So <laughs> I'm gonna do this that. I'm gonna take off for a ride, maybe for a couple minutes, and then come back. I just gotta make sure he doesn't catch me in the act because he'll be asking questions real quick. All right, fam, I kind of feel bad leaving Mo on this island stranded without water. So we're gonna put this water here for him. Pretty sure he can see that. Good luck, Mo. Right. I don't see Mo. He's probably around the corner. He's snorkeling, doing some underwater shots. He's gonna flip. I'm just going for a ride. That's all I'm doing. I feel like I should find him. All right, I think I lost Mo. He might not be able to see me take off anyways. Hey, see you later. <laughs> He's got his hand up in the air like, what? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> yeah, I left him on an island. Bye, Mo. I'll come back in a little while. Hey, look, there's another island over here. Okay, right next to Momar Island is Omar Island. How about that island be Mo Island and this one be Omar Island? And then this is the Momar Cove. I don't know, why didn't we pick this island? This island's much nicer. Let's go explore this one. Oh, look, stingrays. Oh, shoot. Are those stingrays? I think those are stingrays. Are they stingrays? No. Okay, you step on it. This island right here, that's not far from Momar Island, is a lot bigger. Why didn't we... Oh well, yeah, it makes sense. We were coming from over there. It makes a lot of sense. Let's go explore this place. This looks cool. This has a whole sandbar, really nice sandbar too. Like an actual beach. Momar Island has a lot more rocks and stuff. Both beautiful islands in their own way. But I don't know, this one's kind of cool. It's definitely explorable. There's lots of talks of pirate gold that has never been found, like millions and millions of dollars of gold that has been washed up on Florida, Florida's coast before. Oh, look, an osprey. Cool. All right, I did not tie up my wave runner. It's really shallow right there, though. Can't go far. Oh, this water feels like a jacuzzi. I see some footprints here. Something's been here before or somebody. Just like Momar Island, most of the island has been taken over by mangroves. So this is what it would look like if it was low tide over here. Like all of this would be a beach. Chances are this probably is underwater at times too because it is wet. What was another hermit crab? Oh, his shell is exposed. I think something tried to get him. Look at him. I think you need a new shell, buddy. Trying to find a new home. Hi. <laughs> it's like a, a sea insect. Look at his eyes. Ah! Okay, I'm not going to disturb you. I'm going to put you right back down. Man, these guys are everywhere. Look, I just found another one. Oh, no, there's definitely some in there. He's hiding, though. That's so pretty. Oh, two stingrays. I was just over there walking around. Look at that. Dude. Got to be careful out here. Got to be careful. Most probably getting so nervous. I'm going to explore a little bit of this island some more. Okay, just like Momar Island, this island is pretty large. But I think this one is a lot bigger. It's like, I don't know, triple the size. Momar Island is the best island though. It's not deep at all. I want to explore it a lot more, 
Like I tried going through there and the water just got more shallow and more shallow. It can be dangerous. I don't really want to get stranded out here and then make Mo feel like he's even more stranded. I mean, that's how far away I am from him. He's probably like, what the f been gone that long I'm gonna go back to the Momar Island and tell Mo I was just playing a joke on him I'm sure he knew I was just riding around I think I might stay on the island and let him take off with my my wave runner go for a little cruise water's pretty calm behind me it was a lot of fun I was going like 60 miles an hour right now gosh it's so shallow here not seeing Mo at all oh no oh I just hit a bunch of rocks Dang! Good thing I wasn't going fast. My wave runner just cried for the first time right now. Ugh. I'm gonna need to examine this. Another stingray! <laughs> you thought you were gonna be stranded on the island again? Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I did leave you water. <laughs> hey, I just hit a rock, man. Yeah, I gotta check the hole. So it's only fair that I be stranded on the island now, on yeah. Momar Island. Bye. So I told, told him to take off in it, have some fun. All right, go for it. Woo! That should be on everyone's bucket list to see if they can survive just for fun on an island. Just go camping, go camping. I wouldn't recommend doing it alone. I mean, you can try, but that's what that castaway movie I was telling you about is, is all about, by the way being alone on an island and i think he was there for for years poor guy i think it may have been based on a true story too and it had it had a really cool ending a lot of people don't know this but there's a shot in the beginning of that movie where uh, it, it's all about fedex and they're trying to deliver some fedex packages and i don't want to tell you the whole story just you know go watch it but uh, a lot of people don't know that there is a story behind like a, a man cheating on his wife and then it has like a little bit of a happy ending at the end so if you're pay, paying attention to the movie at the very beginning you'll see what i'm talking about all right mo's exploring omar island right now i'm gonna chill here for a little bit just soak in some sun hey we did the over day challenge <laughs> so mo made a good point been here a couple hours already and we're starting to see the rocks showing up here yeah, this is a lot more shallow than before, which means the tide is going back and it's it's you know it's low tide now or becoming low tide. We have about 10 minutes, probably or 20 minutes before it's too late. So yeah. we gotta get out of here now. We should get out of here. No <laughs> it's happening pretty quick. You want some water? Yeah, yeah. Did you have a good time? Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh shark! There it is! It's a real shark! Oh my god! <laughs> That's a dolphin, bro. No, that, no dolphin. they're dolphins. Oh, cool. Look at that. Family of dolphins. Woo. There's a bunch of them. Oh, my God. Hi. <laughs> Look how cool. Wow. Whoa. Oh my God. Look at There's a bunch of them. Whoa, Look at this. Family of dolphins. Can I swim with them? Yeah, go for Are it. Are they trying to hurt me? Uh, Nah. You don't think so? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, those are bottlenose dolphins. Let's get closer. Let's get closer. I want to jump in with one. Wow. Oh my god, guys, look at this dolphin! Hey, come back! Yo, tell my boy! <laughs> Dude, I thought they were sharks. They They're... did, they look like sharks. Uh, bro, I would like, let me get some water shark from these. Here, they get closer. Yeah. Mo's gonna get some water, underwater shots. Get, get me closer. All right. They're actually entertaining us right now. They're beautiful. Wow. I love these guys. I would love to get in the water, but I'm afraid they might bite me. I don't know. They don't bite. Really? Yeah. Ugh. They might hit you with their nose. Yeah. I mean, I swam with dolphins in, the, in like aquariums before, but never, you know. They're so intelligent, they're too. So are there more? Dude? No, those are rocks. <laughs> yeah, they're feeding. Yeah, that's why I don't want to go in. They're feeding. Whoa. That's why I hate seeing them in captivity. I love seeing these guys in the wild like this. But look how happy they if are. If you cut off your engine, maybe, they might not be as scared. Oh, you're right. All right, look, I cut it off. But there's one right Come here. Back. Hi. 
I'm gonna go in. Hey, the clickbait for today's video, uh, stranded in the water with sharks. Uh, we're having so much fun, like just hanging out with the dolphins here. They swim fast, dude, look. They're so beautiful. I'm just gonna stay here for a minute, see if they wanna hang out with us. Mo got some really cool underwater footage. I hope, I'm gonna review it right now. Just like that, they're gone. They do gotta come up for air. Goes to show you, even in really shallow water like this, you know, like anything, anything big can, can exist. That is amazing. So they're smart. They come to the low tides because they know a lot of the fish are gonna get stuck in the low tide and they'll start eating on the fish. There's a shark right there. Where? He's, he's swimming with the stingray. It's not that big one over there. There's like 30 stingrays, there's 30 more over there. Let's go look up over here. So oh, all, wow, look at all these stingrays. These are all stingrays. I don't think there is a shark. Maybe there is a shark. Maybe it was their, their fin Yeah. looking like a it's shark. Like they, it's like they're flying underwater. Yeah, they're so big. There was like 100 of them. Holy there's like 30 over there. There's like 30 over here, you guys. Unbelievable. There's like a whole school of them. You want to go swim with them? I mean... No, 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 I'll do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this guy is crazy. <laughs> We saw one jump out of the water. It was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, those are all stingray right there. All right. That's super cool. I'm telling you, I think they put their their little wing out of the water and it looks like a fin. No, 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 that right there. That looks like a shark. Because I did I thought I seen a shark too. Anyways, make sure to check out Mo's channel and see if he got some of those cool underwater shots of the dolphins. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of my family here on YouTube. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.